Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyber Gray Matter. In today's video, we're going to be going over some of the places where you can get your cybersecurity news and why you should stay informed, even if you're not currently working in the industry. You know, people often talk about how difficult cybersecurity is, as it's so vast and there's so many facets of it. Things are constantly changing, and it seems like there's some new technology that claims to be the best that's currently being utilized to combat the most recent scariest vulnerability. If you choose to start browsing for new vulnerability releases like CVEs, it can be daunting, especially with how many come out each week, and which ones are most meaningful to dive into. On top of that, cybersecurity is more than just CVEs. It's hardware, politics, IoT, and it can change based on the type of industry vertical, such as healthcare or banking. There's so much value in staying informed, and not only do cybersecurity professionals find value in reading the news for our jobs, but students can as well. One of the first things I was advised to do was to read the news. You'll get to put the acronyms and concepts to use when you consume the media. And this is something you may be asked during an interview, such as how you stay up to date. Reading the news and being informed can help you become a better candidate for future roles, and your new knowledge will help you have things to talk about with people on your team. And again, finding out where to get your news can be daunting, and I can name at least 10 websites off the top of my head where you can get information on a daily basis. How can you digest all of the information? I made this video to help consolidate all the options with various mediums. And let's start with Feedly, which is something I personally use. And this isn't a sponsor, but I do use it daily to get the information I need. What I like about Feedly is that it even provides different news feeds that are specific to cybersecurity, which they package as starter kits, such as security news, threat research, and security advisories. You can set it up on your phone or your computer and check it daily. So this next resource is great for anyone, but especially for beginners and students. It's a daily live stream show on YouTube, and it's by Gerald Osher from Simply Cyber. The CISO series has chosen the most popular and important stories of the day, and Gerald goes over each story and gives his own commentary and breakdown. Gerald is very experienced and extremely involved in the community. Then there's always cybersecurity podcasts, if you'd rather listen than stare at a screen. Some ones I personally like are Darknet Diaries, Risky Business, and The Human Factor Security. Just go to Spotify or Apple Podcasts and do some digging to find your new favorite. If you're more into social media, there's Twitter and Reddit. Many people are active in these communities and post news stories, and you could even make your own Twitter and repost things that you find interesting and help contribute to the community and add to the conversation. Check out r slash cybersecurity and people like Brian Krebs on Twitter. And lastly, here's a list of websites that you can check out and add to your favorites on your browser. The links will be down in the description below. These are sites that I check on Feedly every day. So what's your favorite way to consume news? I hope that you can now start your journey into staying informed on cybersecurity without being too overwhelmed. Thanks for watching, and please leave any questions or suggestions on the comment section below. Thanks!